Today we're gonna install WordPress on Docker. So here I'm using a Portainer, a, a tool called Portainer, which is a container management tool for Docker. So you can use Docker, you don't have to have this Portainer tool, but for me it's just convenient to have this Portainer tool to install anything that I want on my Docker. So let's begin. So login into your, I'm gonna log into my Portainer and then here i will show you all the stacks that i've already installed so there are a few ways to install um wordpress on portainer or docker but then i'm going to install you the, i'm going to show you the quickest ways to install it so go to app templates and here you will see all these predefined um compose files to install um any of these applications that, that is listed um on Docker Hub, or that's available, anything that is available for Docker anyway. So I'm gonna just search for WordPress and then just click on WordPress and you, all you have to do is set, give it a name, any, and it could be anything, and also just set up a, a database password and, and then click on deploy the stack. It will take literally a couple of seconds to, you know, deploy the whole WordPress website on your docker server so now you can see in my containers list I have um, staging site staging database and wordpress installed and on right hand side you can also see the port it is running on um, so if you click on that port it will open up the website your work uh, the recently installed um, WordPress side and now here you are. This is a, this is a starting window of WordPress where you um, complete the installation process of WordPress. So select the language that you you need to use on WordPress, and then click on continue. Give your site um, a name. Could be anything. I'm gonna just write site staging. A username to log in into the site. Password could be anything and enter your email address where you want to hold this configuration information to be sent to and then click on install WordPress. So your installation is complete, now you can log in and browse your website and start working on it. So here's your dashboard, you can see everything's good if you click on visit website this is your first website running on your Docker. You can already see how fast it is. You can quick, quickly switch through the windows very efficiently without any problem, right? This is the benefit of having a WordPress installed on local server on Docker. It's very quick. So the very first thing you need to do once you, when you install a WordPress on, on, on Docker is set up a port. You can already see it's running on, well, Docker automatically picked up this port 4918 and we can make this port permanently um, defined in its, uh, in its compose, in compose file. But before I do that, let me tell you why we need to change our Permanently define this port. Um, if I stop my um, containers or whole stack, if I just stop it, um, both database and WordPress side, so now you can see it's completely stopped. So now I will restart it. You will see a change. So, th so the change is it picked up a new port when I restart today. So, and if I try to open that website on that new port, it won't open. Uh, it would say, refuse to connect. Let's try again. I'm gonna shut it down again, both database and WordPress side. I'm gonna stop it and then restart it. You can see the port is changed again. If I try to open using that new port, 
it won't open and it will try to go back to its original port which is 4958 if you remember it was the first time we deployed a new website a wordpress website on docker it it was installed on port 49158 so every time if you every time now you, if you if you try to restart your um, container it will get it if it will fetch a new i uh, new port but it won't show you anything and it will try to redirect to the old port in order to fix this click on stacks and go to you go to editor and here you have your comp compose file and all you have to do is just add the port 4958 or original port which was allocated to your um, container add that port and just click scroll up scroll down click on update the stack and that's it and now you can click on that port and here you go your website is back on so from now on every time doesn't matter how many times you restart or kill that process your website will be always be running on this port and and it will always sh you know show up it, there won't be any stupid errors so the next change that you must do when you install uh, wordpress on docker is change upload size because once you your wordpress site is running you of course you need to upload data and you uh, you by default the max the maximum upload size upload file size is 2 mb and, and that's, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is not enough you need to you know probably need to import data which is probably higher than 100 mb or even 500 mb right so you definitely need to change this default limit and i'm gonna show you how to do that First thing first, you need to log in into your um, server where Docker is installed. So um, I would say um, use PuTTY or CMD to SSH into your um, low um, server. So in my case, it's installed on this IP and the username is lab. So I'm going to enter my password and I am um, logged in. Oh, sorry. Let me, let me retry. So yeah, I'm, so now I'm logged into my server. Now I need to go to directory where my WordPress is installed. So in order to find the uh, the um, the folder or uh, directory where, the, where WordPress is installed, all you have to do is go back to your container, click on stacks and um, your stack that you installed, and click on your WordPress website scroll down and then scroll down and you will see um, volumes so this is where your uh, WordPress is installed if you click on that volume it will give you the whole path where you whole mount path where the WordPress is installed so copy paste copy that um, mount path and then go back to um your terminal type cd and paste that path that you just copied oh uh my goes permission denied uh, because i'm not logged in as a super user so um if you type sudo su and enter your password it will now let you go to that directory now to see the content of that directory or all the files and folders that can do, just type ll and you can see everything that directory has but what we are most most interested in is this file called dot htt dot htxs so if you type nano and the name of that file which is dot htt dot htxs you should be able to um, edit that file and once that file is open we need to add this um add these values that i'm highlighting into the into the command prompt so you can just copy and paste it i already have it done so that's why you see them but i'm gonna just do it again just so you can see what's going on um so you can 
change this value according to what you like um i changed to one gig because that's what i thought i might need it the max file upload i will be the max the maximum size of the file i'll be uploading is one gig so so in order to save that file click on control and x and then type y and then just hit enter and it will save the whole file just to double double check just um just hit nano dot stx is again just to make sure that what you just typed into the file is saved so now if you go back to your portainer and make sure um, your stack is running if you have to restart it restart it and then um go to your wordpress website and then you would see that your maximum plot size have changed